Lockie Dalton, you make your debut in the Rep Coast Supercars Championship this weekend. Tell me, what's going through the, your mind? Is it nerves? Is it excitement? Is it just you just want to get started? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of everything, really. Um, it still doesn't quite feel real. Um, even seeing the car across us with my name on the board, it, it's still it's an unusual feeling. I know you've been dreaming of it since you're a kid, but yeah, it still doesn't feel real. But I'm sure when uh, we're lined up on the limiter, it'll be sinking <laughs> in. <laughs> you, you drive currently for the Dunlop Super 2 Series with Tickford Autosport. So just tell me, how did this all happen for you to be the third car this weekend with Tickford? Yeah, um, it was brief topic at the start of the year that there could be a wild card, but there was never really any, um, I guess, evolution from that. Um, and then it, it all happened pretty quick after Perth. Um, Rod and Simon spoke to me and said there's an opportunity for a wild card to happen. And then, yeah, it just all happened very quickly. And then <laughs> I was getting measured up for a suit. So, uh, yeah, it, it is pretty surreal. You know when you've got the suit with your name on it, it's happening. Yeah, yeah, there's no backing out now. <laughs> so tell me, I mean, I'm sure you would have had some advice from everyone at Tickford as to how to you know, come into this weekend. I know Tom Randall, Cam Waters, they're both really close with, with you guys in the Dunlop Super 2 Championship. So what have they told you about this weekend? Um, they've mainly just said to enjoy it. Um, don't put pressure on yourself. Just enjoy it for what it is. There's no expectation. So, um, yeah, they've been really good, really fun leading up to it. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> there is a lot of other advice um, <laughs> not to run over my team doing pit stops and stuff. But, um, yeah, just embrace it and enjoy it. Speaking about pit stops, so you've chosen Sydney Motorsport <laughs> Park to make your debut in supercars. You're under lights, so you're night racing. You've got long races, probably longer than you've ever raced before, and you've got to do pit stops. So you've made it pretty difficult for yourself. Yeah, I know. The more you listed, I'm sort of like, oh, should I have been doing this now? <laughs> no. So how do you, how do you, uh, how do you um, go through with this weekend in terms of getting your head around all those other elements that you're going to have to get sorted? Yeah, it's just going to be a big learning experience. Um, we did a lot of practice on the test day with pit stops and stuff like that, but until you're in the situation, um, you don't know how it's going to be. So it's going to be a big learning curve and it's going to be tough, but um, you've got to do it. You've just got to throw yourself in the deep end. So what are your expectations for this weekend or do you have a goal in mind about what you want to achieve out of this? I'd love to just be up in that mid-pack fighting, getting experience. Um, I haven't really laid any expectation. Uh, this category is so tough. You can see like one weekend the team's dominating and then they're back in the mid-pack. So um, they definitely take no prisoners. So just be amongst it, get the experience and see what we need to do to be here full time. How big do you think the step will be from Dunlop Super 2 to the main gate? Um, definitely big. I've spoken to Cooper a little bit, mm -hmm. Murray, and uh, he even said to me like, everyone who's there deserves to be there, which, um, is, is definitely true and he was pretty shocked when he stepped up and how cool it was and but how much more competitive it was so it should be good fun. But that must be a pretty special moment for your family and, and all the hard work that you guys have done to get here. Yeah definitely um, when, when they found out I was making my debut they were pretty emotional mm -hmm. so um, it is very special. Do you make that call to mum? How did, how did that work? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she she tends she's only just started coming to races because she can't stand watching me. But um, <laughs> I think now she's coming a bit too much of a track mum, so we might have to push it back. <laughs> <laughs> just get her to maybe you know make the lunches and yeah, stay yeah. there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, well, mate, I hope you enjoy this weekend. I really hope it goes well for you. Wish you all the best. We look forward to seeing your outcome. No, thank you very much.